Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil 3. When we last left off, we made it through to the clock tower. Uh, an area that is surprisingly absent from the remake, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, anyway, let's start exploring. What do we have on us? Probably don't need the medical kits. The first aid spray. Uh, famous last words, I suppose. We've got two shotguns on us. Uh... Uh, let's keep the two shotguns on us for now, I suppose. Right, let's load up. Oh, we need the key as well, don't we? Yes, of course we do. How stupid of me. Um, now, let's go. We've got a lot of gunpowder there. Um, pretty sure we're going to go find some more gunpowder. We need to start making some freeze rounds, which we'll get on to in a minute. Uh, well... Yeah, probably not this episode actually, but we'll get on that in a minute when we can. Carlos. Whew. Well, we both managed to survive. Maybe we can start helping each other again. Yeah, it's been rough, but we can rest now. No, we're the only ones left. There's no rest for the wicked. Here's a gift for you. Very nice. Freeze rounds. So, the thing with freeze rounds is one pack, six shots, will drop Nemesis in, uh, well, just six shots. Obviously, he'll get back up again and you have to drop him down again. But, yeah, freeze rounds are devastating against him. And, obviously, when you're shooting him with freeze rounds, he's also uh, getting stunned and getting knocked back. Which is also nice. There's actually a file in that desk, but you don't want to pick it up yet because then you, you're picking files up out of order, which is a little bit annoying. So we're going to go through into the main hall first. Man, it's quiet. Look how like grand everything is. Absolutely fantastic. Oh yeah, we've got the mine layer here, haven't we? Will we take the mine thrower? Yeah, we'll take the mine. I might use it here. I don't know, man. I don't remember. I know the. I know it's not very good, so I might use it a little bit here. He's holding something in his hand. Operation instructions. Order for the UBCS Echo Team. Wipe out the downtown area of the infestation, and then evacuate the remaining civilians to the clock tower. Among the civilians, remember to give priority to the employees of Umbrella's affiliates. Remember to stay alert because of the infected have a high endurance rate and will strike without hesitation. Yeah, yeah, pretty pretty tall order that. Uh, wipe out the entire infected in the downtown area. Hmm, okay. Good luck. Evacuation procedure. Once the mission is complete, or when it becomes too impossible to accomplish, evacuate immediately. We'll deploy a helicopter that is waiting in the suburbs to the yard in front of the clock tower. When you're ready for extraction, ring the bell of the clock tower to signal the helicopter. Okay, makes sense. Sure we can manage that. Uh, we've got another first aid spray here. And a map. Um, we're going to be like out of space again. Okay, we'll, we'll take... Uh, uh, right, let's go back to the item box. Forgot how many items we actually pick up here. Quite a few, apparently. Uh, now, if we go down here, there's two music boxes that we can listen to. Now, that one sounds perfect. It seems to be an old music box. There is something written on the lid. Up, down, up, up, down, up. Okay. Uh, yeah. Cool. Now, well, yeah, there's another one around this corner as well that is incorrect. Now, this is uh, how we actually solve one of the upcoming puzzles. And there's the other one. This one's out of tune. As you can hear. Yeah, that just sounds nasty. Yeah. 
Old music box. Its melody is out of order. Yep. Ah, uh, dud, dud. <laughs> I think that says, yeah, we're we're not gonna we're not gonna um, listen to that one. Anyway, let's go back to the item box. Get some stuff sorted. Just because I can't even remember how the mind thrower actually works in this game, because in the Resident Evil remake, it wasn't a terrible weapon. Like it, it was okay. It had its use. Whereas from what I can remember in this game, it's just absolutely garbage. All right, let's drop this back. Uh, mind thrower. Uh, you know what? Let's put our decent shotgun shells back for now. I mean, the shotgun's not a great choice for busting Nemi. Uh, not that we're actually going to be busting Nemi yet. I mean, we are going to come up to a bit, hopefully later on in this video, where we actually have to fight him legitimately. Uh, that's a little bit, uh, can be a little bit chaotic. But we'll, we'll persevere, because we always do. So we've got 36 normal rounds, and we've got 6 freeze rounds. 6 freeze rounds will pretty much, like, take him out. Uh, to, like, half of his health, basically. So, eh, it's not too bad. Alright, let's take our shotgun for a walk. And get out of here. Oh, yeah, we picked up that. So now we can pick this up. There is another, there we go, art picture postcard. A picture postcard of an antique clocks. The following verse is printed, give your soul to the goddess. Put your hands together and pray before her. Ah, uh, yeah, whatever chief, all right. We shall, we shall do that a little bit later on anyway. Now let's keep exploring, shall we? I'm not going to go upstairs yet, because that will trigger a series of events that we don't want to happen just yet. Let's go through here. Now, let's see what the uh, RNG gods give us. Ah, uh, we got really unlucky. Yeah, we got really freaking unlucky with that, didn't we? Brain suckers. So that can either be brain suckers or zombies. Ah, uh, yeah, we got unlucky. Okay. I'm not going to worry about those guys anyway. Now, there's a save room down here, but we're not going to go through it just yet. We're going to go outside. Let's go. Ooh. Let's have a look and see what's outside. We've got dogs. That's okay. We don't mind dogs. Hey, Fido. Do you want to like, come over here, please? Now, how does the mine thrower work? Is it worth experimenting with this thing? Uh, probably not, because we're going to get ourselves killed. Really? Yeah. That's one thing that always annoys me in this game, when you dodge and you still get hit. I never understood that. But it's okay. Anyway, uh, going through here, somewhere... There's a load of herbs. So I think the mines just randomly explode after a set amount of time. It might tell us if we actually read it. Uh, prototype weapon made by Umbrella's armament department. It uses special bullets equipped with a sensor. Yeah, okay. Of course it does, Chief. Of course it does. Now this is where the... Uh, <laughs> carriage came busting in. I've got three herbs here which we will absolutely grab. Um, there's blue herbs here. There is spiders in this place. But, you know, spiders are just such a non-threat in this game. Um, it, they are, I don't know, they're, they're just odd. You don't really ever need to worry about spiders. Now let's go back down here. There's another save room back down this path, which I probably should have gone through first. Now that room the bloodsuckers in, we don't actually ever have to go back in there again, so there's very little point in even fighting those guys. 
Kind of interesting though, you can either get three um, crawling zombies in that room, or you can get three brain suckers. Yeah, that is <laughs> that's very different. Two very different outcomes. Right, let's jiggle our junk around. There's actually a hell of a lot of item boxes and item... Uh, well, save rooms, I should say, in this area. There's like three. It's like the highest concentration of item boxes in the game, I think. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. It's, it, it's been a while since I played all the way through this. Uh, let's move all this health stuff up. We're actually going to get another one of these um, mega health boxes soon anyway. I'm not... I think that's a little bit of a rubbish reward from Nemesis, to be honest. Because, like, one of those things is enough. Um, yeah, that should be fine. That's fine. Okay. So, Mind Thrower. Let's go grab this. You got the Clock Tower Key. Yes, we did. We're going to go use the Clock Tower Key. Oh. Yeah, I actually forgot about that. And if I could see my OBS screen, that'd be great. Thank you. Cool. Let's go. I wonder what that was about. Now, there's very little actual mine thrower and... Oh, hello. Oh, I forgot about these guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. Seriously? We're on danger. Oh, that was not fantastic, was it? Uh, bugger! How the hell did we? He bit us once. We we're in danger. That's not good. That's not good at all. Uh, okay. Well, luckily, we should be okay. Unbelievable, man. Yeah, we're just going to have a first aid spray. Just going to have a first aid spray. Just why not, I suppose. Uh, there shouldn't be anything in here. And there isn't anything. I'm trying to think, is it worth going back to that one? Or should we just push ahead? We just push ahead. I don't think... No, there's spiders up here. Which are a to Well, maybe. Yeah, there is. Now, they're like a non-issue. But if you're on danger, then everything is a, well, danger. So, yeah, we're not going to worry about those guys. Let's go back to the save room. That zombie, man. What a dirty, cheeky little fucker. That was savage. Very savage. Very uncalled for, I might add. A little bit naughty, if you ask me. Very naughty. But luckily, save rooms are literally everywhere here. So let's just eat an F8 spray. We've already used one, so we've popped the cork on these things. Right, that's better. And we got so many F8 sprays. And uh, yeah, rank running this game is just an absolute nightmare anyway, so... Yeah, we're not going to worry too much about it. We can't go through that door yet. So, let's head upstairs to the clock tower. Onwards and upwards and all that. I don't know if freeze rounds are any good against anything else. I know you can freeze the zombies and shatter them. But I don't think it's a very efficient way to use them, to be honest. Ugh, spiders. Get the fuck fuck out of here spiders yeah spiders are very easy to avoid in this game watch I'm gonna get like annihilated by them later Ooh, this is pretty we push the switch zap Ooh, yeah, that's some high voltage lighting right there very high voltage lighting hmm okay 
Those spiders that we just ran past are going to disappear soon anyway, so, you know. Alright. Uh, do we not? Are you sure? Pretty sure that we need to use the clock tower key. There we go. To, you know, get into the clock tower, Jill. Yeah, throw the key away. It is interesting that, like, 40 shotgun shells take up the same amount of inventory space as one single key. Uh, we'll have the silver gear. Yeah, actually, we could have left that silver gear there, to be honest. But we'll take it with us. Ah, yeah, this is where we have to do the puzzle. Ooh, mine... Mine throw around. Oh yeah, we'll take them. Uh, okay, so that's a random spawn. Got ya. Now, let's go stick the gear in here. Get the fuck out of here. Hmm. Not quite working as advertised, is it? Hmm. Okay. Right, let's have a little look in here. Let's put the gear back. Because we're not going to use the gear just yet. Uh, I don't know what to do about the mine thrower. We might use it later, but we're not going to need it yet. Let's put that back. Shotgun. Shotgun's going to be more than enough. Oh, don't need the herbs either. Shotgun's going to be more than enough for, like, the foreseeable. Okay. Alright. We're moving light. That's fine. There's some uh, Ingrams there, but we don't need them. Nor do we want them. Okay. So, a music box with elaborate ornamentation. Mm, there's a uh, the switches are marked A through F. Do you will you operate the switch? Sure. I love this music. Ah, nostalgia. Right, let's. Right, back. Okay, so switch A. I actually have this written down here. Switch A is up. Next. That should be down. Yes. Up, up. Right, so according to my notes. Switch E. Should be down. Now, uh, this puzzle is actually random how it's all organized, but um, from when we examined the music boxes earlier, uh, that's always the correct order. But the initial order of how this is set up is always random. I think. Pretty sure. Right, okay. We should be able to play it now. Should be. Yeah, man. Unfortunately, you have to listen to that every single time. Why can't we play? Ah, now we can play. Okay. Nope, that's wrong. So A is wrong. A should be up. Which it does actually say in my notes. I'm not really sure why I missed that one out. Oh, we don't need to listen to this every single fucking time. Dude. Dude! Come on. Okay. So, A should be up. Can't play the individual ones, unfortunately. That's right. That's right. 
That's right. Okay, that should be right now. Yep, okay, cool, that's good. I wonder if we're ever gonna go back to like proper puzzles like this with Resident Evil. Would be nice. I'm not sure if we ever will though. Never mind. Okay, so will we take the Kronos chain? We will. Lovely. Right, let's get the flock out of here. Uh we are gonna save it actually. Uh saving it there yeah we're gonna save it because things can get a little bit hairy here hey big fella stars, stars. we'll give you a fucking stars mate now we're gonna use the cord if you use the light it actually gets rid of him for ages Uh, but if we use the car, uh, the cord, use the car, use the cord, he will still chase us around, but we get the free item. So we get this item for free, for zapping him, but as soon as we leave this room, he's going to get up and chase us around. If we had used the lights, um, we wouldn't have got a free item, but he would have been gone. So, eh, I'd rather have the item. Now, how hard he's going to hound us here is kind of random. Is he going to chase us straight away? No, he's not. Okay. He'll either spawn in this room or he'll spawn later on, a little bit further up. If he spawns a little bit further up, like it looks like he's going to, he's not going to be much of a problem. No, see, he should be through here. But if we're quick, he's not going to be an issue here. Yeah, he's in here, but we're just going to go straight down here. Throw the key and then go straight through the door. So, it's, you know, it's not really much of a problem. Now, this room is full of spiders. But we should... Oh, God. We should be able to just pretty easily sneak past them like that. Might be worth taking the spiders out here. Maybe. Um, there is an item that we want to grab in that corridor. Mercenary's pocketbook. September 26th. It's only been three hours since the mission started. But the team is down to me and Campbell. The number of zombies is far greater than we expected. There is no hope left for the city. We have already injected the antibody for the virus, but... I'm not sure that it will work. Oof. I don't know if I will survive. September 27th. We managed to reach the clock tower. Out of desperation, we robbed some wounded members of their weapons and used the surviving citizens as decoys. Oh. Yeah, that's dark. We were taught to do this in order to survive in the battlefield, but I never enjoyed it. However, a girl, a girl showed up at the clock tower before me. She is one of the survivors. She looks like my sister before she starved to death. She starved to death? What, your sister starved to death? Or she starved to death? Pretty hard to starve to death in like three days, surely. September 28th. I wanted to evacuate as soon as possible. But the girl didn't. Oh no, okay, so his sister starved to death. So, I mean, these are mercenaries from all over the world, I suppose, so. Oof, that's pretty rough. But the girl didn't. Her father insisted that he wouldn't leave the city where his beloved wife rests in peace. I really wanted to save the girl, but Campbell said, all I care about is our lives. That's how I felt before, but now the clock tower has become a dangerous place, and I don't want to make any more mistakes. Well, uh, unfortunately he's dead, with the girl in his arms. Now that female model there, even though, you know, she's pre-rendered and looks stupidly big, 
when you take her proportions into size. Uh, I think it's the same female model that was killed. Now, if we've already got the mine rounds, does that mean... No, there's more mine rounds here. How interesting. Very interesting. See, when I was playing this uh, before, we got uh, gunpowder up in the clock tower. Okay. Right. So, a maiden statue holding a tray. A crystal ball is on the tray. Will you take the crystal ball? We will. And a maiden statue holding a tray. Obsidian ball. We'll take the obsidian ball. And we have holding a tray and amber ball. Right. This puzzle's not too bad, actually. Seems a bit annoying. Where's the... Ooh, right. So we have to... So it's on 11 o'clock. We need to get the hands to stop at midnight. Uh... Now. I've got to try and remember this now. The obsidian ball puts things, uh, yeah, so we've got past, present, and future. And depending on what ball we put on what uh, frame, it fiddles with the things. So if we put the obsidian ball on the past, that's going to wind it back by three hours. Okay. Now if we put... We put that there. That should wind it on by two hours? No, by three hours. Okay. So that's no good. Let's have the amber wall back. Okay. What about the crystal ball? By one hour. Okay. So, in theory... No, it's way too much. Way too much. Okay, let's take you. What happens if we take you? Swap these two around. Uh, put the amber ball there. Puts it back three. And then we'll put the obsidian ball here. Uh, it's out by one hour. So, let's switch these two round. Now, again, this puzzle is also always random. So, you can't, um, you know, memorise it. Uh, he's put you on there. Nope, that's no good. Let's try the obsidian one there. Ah. This could be just the ticket. There we go. Yeah, it's not too hard, but yeah, it's a little bit fiddly. You just gotta remember what the values of the balls are. Lel. Whether you got valuable balls or not. Right, let's get out of here. Uh, do we want to kill these spiders? I mean, there's not really a lot of point. See how we go. See, ooh, hello. That one got a bit hands on. Oh, God, hello. Oh, we'll take those. He didn't actually hurt us, luckily. Which is a good thing. Because that would have sucked. Oh, we're on half an hour. Dude, Nemi's gone. Where's Nemi gone? Yeah, he should leave us alone. See, this is the thing. Like, everybody says, like, because I've, I've been looking up quite a bit about this. I've spent a lot of time in bed with this infection. Like, kind of too much of a headache to concentrate on watching videos and stuff. But I've been... Um, like, reading bits and pieces and stuff like that and sleeping this shit off. Uh, it's kind of been a shit holiday. Definitely up there with the worst holidays I've ever had. And a lot of people here say always use the lights to knock him out. 
But I'm like, but, but why? Because otherwise, he chases you through the clock tower and he's a huge pain in the ass. But that's not my experience. Um, okay. I mean, I was never going to use the uh, light on him anyway because we're going for a kill nemesis run. But yeah, that was just, I don't know, a bit weird. Um, we're actually out of time. Now we could... Yeah, okay. It's actually not a terrible place to leave it, to be honest. Just about to go fight Nemesis. <laughs> and we actually have to fight him legit here as well. But that's going to have to wait for another time. Because my missus is about to finish work. And when she finishes work, she always uh, rings me. So, yeah. I am basically out of time, guys. So we're going to leave it here. Uh, when we come back, we're going to go fight Nemesis, I suppose. And kick him squarely in the sacks. At least, that's the theory. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this game, guys. And as always, till next time.